Good morning, Okra Wildcats. It's the week of March 22nd, 2021. Wow. March is going by quickly, and we have some changes coming along during this month. My name is Mrs. Montgomery, your principal and your admin team. We're all here to share the announcements with you. Good morning. I'm Mr. Ramirez, one of the vice principals. Good morning, Ms. Hernandez, vice principal. And Dr. Macalino, your instructional specialist. So Wildcats, let's show that we're united by saying the pledge together. Please take a knee, stand, do what feels comfortable to you. And let's place our right hand over our heart. And we have it here in Spanish for you all. And let's, well, we have it in five languages here for you all. And let's begin. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Wildcats, for doing the pledge. And this week, I want you all to be aware that we have a transition with the bell schedule. So Wildcats starting on Monday, March 29th, um, we are gonna be changing the bell schedule. So please stay tuned and we will give you the details for that. But starting this week, there will be some changes. Not today, not Monday. Today, you continue your classes as normal. Okay, so you'll go to your first period, your second period at the same time, have your lunch, your independent practice. Then you go to third and fourth period at the same time, and the same thing with your virtual office hours. Tomorrow, Tuesday, March 23rd, once again, you follow the same schedule. You'll go to your fifth and sixth period at the same time. You'll have your lunch, your independent practice, then at 12, you go to your seventh period once again. You have your work time and your teacher's office, virtual office hours. It all stays the same for Tuesday as well. Hey, Wildcats. So let's talk about this Wednesday, March 24. So you're going to have the same schedule, sort of. So hear, hear me out. So you're going to start off the day DLI from 9 to 10. So for eighth graders, you're going to continue working on the eighth grade project. Sixth and seventh graders, you're going to do a fun activity, um, learning more about Women's History Month. Then from 10, 10 to 11, we're going to have the mandatory student, student orientations. And we'll talk more about that in a second. And then you'll notice here from 11.05 to 2.15, it's the same exact schedule that you guys are used to for the remainder of the Wednesday day. Okay, so for the next slide. Okay, so this is specifically details about um, the mandatory student orientations that's immediately right after the DLI period. So your teacher, your DLI period, your DLI teacher will give you the Zoom links at the end of the DLI period, okay? So there's going to be two links offered. So you guys need to pay close attention. There's one link is going to be for the hybrid students. Okay, one link is for the hybrid students. Those are the students who are going to be starting on March 29. These are the students who are going to be coming on campus in the afternoon for two hours. Okay, those are the hybrid students. Then there's going to be a second link for just the distance learning students, meaning that they don't come on campus it's just 100% virtual learning, all right? So, but you need to click onto that orientation too because you need to learn about the new bell schedule. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Thank you, Dr. Macalino. And just a clarifying question. If I'm not going to school hybrid, do I have to go to an orientation? Absolutely. Oh, We're taking attendance. So it's for both hybrid and distance learning. Okay, students? 
hybrid and distance learning, you both have mandatory orientation. So this is when your schedule will change on Thursday, okay? So Thursday, March 25th, you have a special schedule. Yes, that is this Thursday. And check this out. If you notice here, your classes are only 15 minutes, but it is mandatory that you report to your classes. In each of your classes, your teacher will take attendance. They are going to go over the new schedule, which will start next week. They will review that schedule with you. And three, they're going to tell you what your assignment is for that day. When you do assignments outside of your classroom in Zoom, that's called asynchronous. That means that you are working on your own, okay? So if you see here, your first period, you go in 9 to 915 going to do these three things We're going to period two another 15 minutes 9 20 to 9 25 attendance schedule assignment same thing for third and fourth period they're 15 minutes each okay so your day to day for your classes will only be from 9 a.m to 10 15 a.m the reason for this is be is because your teachers are working on preparing for next week for being in person or for being distance learning Okay, so after 10.15, remember that doesn't mean that you're done. That means that you have your independent work time. That's when you work on the assignments that your teachers are giving you in your class. Why are you hearing the schedule for classes today? So you make sure that you memorize it and you learn it and you have time to ask questions. Just like I just asked Ms. Macalino, Dr. Macalino, a question. So also on Thursday, you had your mandatory orientation Thursday in the afternoon from 6 to 6.30. We have a mandatory orientation for your parents. From 6 to 6.30, this orientation is only for parents of students that are doing 100% distance learning. So if you're part of the kids that are coming to school, this meeting is not for your parents. This is only if you will be distance learning 100%. also on Thursday, but at 6.30 to 7, right after this, we have the mandatory parent meeting for the hybrid students, the hybrid orientation. So this means those of you that will be coming to school twice a week, this meeting is for your parents. All right. Hey, thank you, Ms. Hernandez, for that information. And students, Wildcats, guess what? Friday, going to be very similar. You are going to have your classes fifth, sixth, and seventh period. And just like Ms. Hernandez reminded us, we're gonna be taking attendance. We're gonna to continue to review this new schedule that's gonna be coming up. And the teachers are gonna take the time to explain about what your assignments are for that day as well, which is Friday. So you will be going to school from nine to 10, 10, but you still have your work to do afterwards. So again, Please show up. It is Friday. We've got a lot of good information for you. So a lot is happening this week. And also something really exciting is happening this week. If we go on to our next slide, we have our elective course selection. So this week starts on Wednesday. The window is going to be open. And our current sixth and seventh graders, you have a chance to take and make your two elective selections. And then you'd have to do an alternate as well. And that starts Wednesday and it's going to be open for one week. So Wednesday to Wednesday, March 24th through the 31st. It's through your home link, your Aries home link account, your student portal account that you've all set up and ready to go. And why are we doing it? Because I told you to. It's extremely important. So I will be sending that video out this week. So you have a chance to watch that and see how do I actually do it through my Aries student portal account. All right. So let's get going with this select our our choices this is for our current sixth and seventh grade students and now you're right asking yourself whew, lots of information what's going on with wildcat layer well this week it's going to stay the same okay so we do have the tutoring on mondays and tuesdays just like we did before when we start our brand new schedule on the 29th there's not going to be a homework layer that week so that's on March 29th. But then the next week we go on a break. We get a little chance to take a breath, relax, whew, rest up for the spring, spring break. I'm excited. 
Um, when we come back from spring break, there's going to be some new hours. And so we will take and give you those new hours for the Wildcat Lair when we come back. So stay tuned for the new hours. But this week, everything stays the same. Thank you, uh, Mr. Ramirez, for your important information. Wow, this is so many changes that are going on this week, but I know we are all resilient and we're gonna be able to make these changes and we're going to thrive. We've been able to do it with distance learning and now we have two options. So we're going to embrace these changes. And so as we're embracing these changes, we need to remember that it's important to say positive affirmations to ourselves because we can train our brain to say positive things and really during times of change, we have to be very mindful of what we're saying to ourselves. We might get the schedule wrong and you can say to yourself, that is okay. I'll find out the information and I'll do better next time. So let's embrace those changes. And with that, let's say an affirmation with the title, Embracing Changes. So take a deep breath. I am grateful for new changes that help me grow and become stronger. I embrace the changes in my life with curiosity and gratitude. Change is natural and I welcome it with an open mind. I welcome the changes in my life with a positive attitude. Okay, Wildcats, let's make sure that we are respectful, responsible, resilient risk takers. And really remember, we are resilient. With all of the changes, we are going to be fine and you are going to thrive. Have a great week, Wildcats. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, what I don't want you to forget is if you are coming in person to test for the LPAC, Please, please, please bundle up, bring your jackets, bring your scarves, because it is a winter wonderland in there. Like when we tell you it's cold, it is cold because we need to have all the doors and windows open to keep that ventilation in there. Even with the heater on, it'll still be really cold and you don't even imagine it until you're sitting there doing your test. So when you come in to test for LPAC, bundle up and stay warm. Have a good one, Wildcats. Take care, Wildcats. Bye.